George. Okay. Hey, how are you going? I'm going well. Uh, getting older. But <laughs> <laughs> Before you get any older, yeah. I want to I want to pick your brain for one last time. I think we should share. You promised it the last <laughs> time. <laughs> I think we should share some of the acquired gems that we've 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 gleaned over the years as to how we might give out some tips in terms of students preparing for their exam. Uh, good. Okay. I suppose the best way to do that would be to identify what it is, what, what, what is in the, normally in an exam, and I presume there'll be a multiple choice section. MCQs, yep. Yeah? Yep. And then some essay questions of some sort. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, let me start with, uh, with the way I like to approach multiple choice questions. Yep. And um, then maybe leave you to to talk a little bit about the about the, the essay sections of the of an exam. Okay. So my kind of philosophy with multiple choice questions is to recognise that the marks allocated to questions are normally equal. You know, you get one mark or whatever it is per question. Yep. And uh, you know, so it makes a lot of sense to pick up your marks quickly. Yep. So go through the exam, answering the easy short questions quickly. Don't get bogged down. Don't go bogged yeah. down on the longer ones yeah. and the more difficult Come ones. Come back to it later. Come back to them later. Yep. Good yeah. Good thinking. And because you know, if you if you if you slog your way in through, hit question three, and it's long and tedious, mm. and you mm, not quite sure whether it's right. Mm. Uh, you 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 kind of lose confidence, and that help doesn't help your performance later mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the exam, you well, by the end of the multiple choice section, you're kind of sitting there thinking, yeah. oh God, I'm going to fail this exam, and it doesn't help you in the performance of the other one. And you know, sometimes if you leave a hard question. Yeah. At the end of your multiple choice, and you go on and do your written work, yeah. somehow it's fomenting it's in your amazing, brain isn't box. It? It's and amazing. when you go back yeah, to review them, absolutely. Yeah, 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 there yeah, it yeah. is. There it is, yeah. exactly. It can happen. Okay, and what about the essay section? Well, what are your tips there? Okay, one really, really, well, two, two super important tips actually. One, read the question carefully. And yeah. I, I mean, really read it carefully. So, Highlight a pen or red biro, underlining the key words as you yes. see them yes. in, in the question. And almost at the end of reading the question, I used to say to myself, okay, what do I need to do here to address the key economic yep. principles, concepts, theories that the examiner is asking me? Okay. So you almost ask yourself the question, what do I need to do? Yes. And then, the, of course, the real, the real creme de la creme, the, the real gutsy part of your answer is the model. I must draw a model yes. and I must em embody that model, I must embrace it, I must articulate it, I must describe it. Let the examiner know that I know what's going on in that picture. Exactly. Basically. And and uh, do you have, I seem to remember people talking famously about some acronym you had. RIDMA. RIDMA. Yeah. Okay, so get those through that. Read. Read the question, question carefully. Three. I is for identify the key economic concepts Except, and theories yeah. involved. D uh, is to define those those concepts, concepts that you've identified. Yeah, yeah. M is for model. Yes. And A is articulate or analyze the model. Okay. So, uh, okay, I'm going to I'm going to add what I think, which is just simply uh, reinforces exactly what you think. Uh, um, I think it's important that students show that they have learnt to think like an economist, that they are approaching problems as an economist would have approached them. In an and analytical in manner. In an analytical manner. Mm -hmm. And that they that they that they use models to try and explain the realities mm -hmm. of the world around mm -hmm. them and that they and, and that, that they argue rationally mm -hmm. and systematically uh, around the model mm -hmm. and also that they understand that there are transmission mechanisms involved in reaching certain conclusions. In other words, there are causes and there are effects yep. and there's a, 
there's a kind of a, a, a road that you travel mm -hmm. to get from one to the mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. And that thinking like an economist also implies that you understand that you don't get anywhere in the real world if you explain its complexity in detail. Mm. That mm. you need mm. to sort of abstract through the use of Keteris Paribus conditions and to and you focus in on what you consider to be the most important variables in the model. And the, the other really practical uh, value you can get out of a model I found when I was a student, draw the model first and yes. then your very first sentence becomes the model above depicts the following and you're off and running. Off and running. Off and so, running. You're yes. describing why the demand curve is down sloping to the right, you're describing exactly. the significance of the equilibrium, exactly. et cetera, et cetera. Yes. You've got a starting point. So uh, students sometimes say to me, uh, I know what I want to say, but I don't know where to start. Yes. Start with the model, and your yeah. very first sentence is taken care of. The model above depicts yes. the following. And this is actually quite a useful template for mm. when, you, when you study for the exam, because what you can do is you can look at a graph, mm -hmm. and you can say, why does this curve start at this position? Mm -hmm. Why do those two curves cross? When I compare this price to that one, how did I arrive at that price? Why is it higher? Why is it lower? In other words, go through interrogating yourself as to your understanding of those changes. And along those lines, students should be encouraged to actually test themselves yes. with the questions at the end of each chapter in the study guide. Exactly. They've got multiple choice questions, they've got true false questions written by a brilliant, a brilliant bloke. I forget his name now. No comment. But, <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, you should test yourself. Yes. And at the end of the chapter, you, you can say, okay, I'll go back and mark them because yes. the answers are there as yes. well. And of course, next to the answer, there's that little bracket with the page number in the textbook, which actually leads you to, to, to go back to that if you have sure. to, if you, sure. in case you got sure. it wrong. Sure. But that, that's that's a, probably the best way, I reckon, yes. of actually preparing. Test your knowledge in the study guide. Yes. Now the other thing, there a couple more things that I would I would add to 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 students who uh, you know to to to, to, to better in the examination. Uh, the first one is that don't be overly pedantic. In other words, if I if we ask you about let's say price uh, ceilings or price floors or something like that. Don't start your question saying, and the determinants of the demand curve are this, and it goes and it shifts because of this, 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 and this reason. Because those are factors that are, you, uh, we assume you already know. We want you to focus on, on, the, on the issue, issue in, in, the in, question. in the question, exactly. The, the impact of the ceiling or the floor. Yes, absolutely. Mm. And, 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 and it's very boring for an examiner <laughs> to read through this stuff and, and sort of think, get to the point. <laughs> so that's the first thing. The second thing is, um, I always think it's useful as a, as a way of thinking is, to, and I, this reinforces what you said earlier on, is to maybe start your question with, at least in your mind, if not on paper, a kind of an introductory paragraph to say, mm -hmm. in this question I'm going to attack this, this and this problem. Mm -hmm. And also, it's useful to know that at the end of the question, that's when the marker is allocating the marks. Mm -hmm. So if you may have a little concluding paragraph which says, in this question I did dum 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 dum, yep. Then the examiner can say, hmm, yes, you did. Mm. I remember mm. that. Mm. You mm. know, otherwise it's going to be flipping backwards and forth. Mm, did they cover? Mm, uh, what? What exactly? You know. Yeah. You know, it's be very clear in your mind yeah. as to what you, Good what, tip. What, what, what you, what you really want to to be talking about. Good tip. Yes, and um, and that's particularly applicable if you've got a, an essay or short, 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 short essay question where absolutely. you need to address uh, some sequence of events, possibly. Yes. Yes. Uh, where you might be comparing, say, market structures, say, pure competition to monopoly, and you, you've, you've actually addressed all of the key features, but you've come up with that, that key conclusion that, that the purely competitive firm will be productively and allocatively efficient, but the monopolist will not be. Sure. And sure. Let, let me know that that's what you've covered. Yeah, exactly. Good point. And the final thing I'd like to say is that I think it's, it's important for students to realise that we are 
grading their answer. We're not just allocating a pass-fail mark. Mm. So that once somebody occupies a distinction mm. category, mm. if you don't come up with that same mm. uh, level mm. of uh, expertise, you mm. won't get that distinction. Mm. Mm. So it's pointless for you to go after the exam to the examiner and say, but I knew that. Mm. Mm. I knew about the markers. Mm. You cannot mm. get the marks mm. unless you articulate your reasoning yeah. and your understanding of that so, topic. So the student, the student that actually says, this can be shown in the model above, is not going to get anywhere near the level of marks that yeah, the student yeah. says the model above sure. depicts the following bang 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 in bang fact, in fact i think we should maybe go to the board now and just quickly go through do a little ridma do a little bit of a ridma <laughs> and then uh, to get, say something about why it is that some students do much better than other okay. students okay okay let's do that no worries